All right. Uh, I've been dealing with this with the, 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 this whole uh, thing. Uh, Mons uh, told me uh, yesterday. It's a news day, new daily news, whatever, garbage rag. Uh, claims that I have flatulated on the air. This is I never did that. I never fought it on the air. It did not happen. I never would fought. First of all. The show, the way the show was constructed, I would never fought on the air because I am Michael Francesa, the GOAT of sports journalism. I run WFAN the same way John Gotti ran the, the crime families that he ran. You understand what I'm saying? I am the capo di tutti capi of WFAN. Why would I fought on the air? I'll leave that type of shenanigans to Peter Rosenberg and those other guys and Don, Don Le, whatever the fuck, Michael K. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm, having, <coughs> I'm sorry. I caught a uh, Diet Coke went down the wrong windpipe. I'm, so, I'm very sorry about that. But th the bottom line is this. This is the number one show on Drive Time Radio. This is the number one sports show on WFAN. The ratings show it. Michael K has never put a banana in his mouth. How can you trust a man that has never eaten a banana in two bites? All right? I do not fart in the air, nor will I ever fart in the air. Mons, please tell him. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. He's never going to fart in the air. He'll never fart in the air. Thank you. Now, on to the, still, the Yankees starting rotation. Oh, actually, I have to introduce these two Moulinians. Uh The Bodega Boys podcast. Uh, it's uh, uh, episode... Uh, uh, Bodega Boys uh, Illustrious Podcast. Uh, okay. Okay. So, these guys, uh, it's uh, episode... Uh, one uh, sixty, uh, one seventy-eight. Mons, what's the episode here? What's the episode number? Mons, it's one seventy-eight. All right, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's one seventy-eight. So this is uh, episode one seventy-eight of the Bodega Boys podcast. Uh, we'll uh. Uh, we be uh, we'll be right back uh, uh, uh right back after this. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry I uh, hit the mute button because I coughed there for a second there. But one thing I would never do is fart. I would never fart. All right, back after this, do the drop. Yo, episode 178 of the most illustrious yeah. podcast in the motherfucking galaxy. Yo. You know what I'm saying? If y'all some aliens, y'all little intergalactic podcast studio. Like, yo, bleep blur, 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 bleep blur. Yes, she can't blah, 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 blah. That's when the blessing. Blah, 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 Yeah, we're better than y'all, Somebody suck that baby slurf, Norf. Got it. Yeah, we're better than y'all. Yeah. And when the earth is destroyed and you find this recording. You know what I'm saying? 3,000 years after we existed. Just take it with you. You're going to be like, wow, this was art. Actually, you're going to be like. Or you're just going to be like. You know what I'm saying? What if uh, aliens find this in like 3,000 years and we corrupt alien youth? Yo. They start dressing like us. Lit. Aliens walking around at Tim's and Yo. shit. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, yo? yo. Fat, yo, To be honest, if you listen to the podcast, the only three things you're gonna get is wearing Tim's, saying Europe, and using the N word more. Yeah, using the. Sorry, that's what we do. That's we're growing community. Also, we would absolutely. I don't know. I mean, because everybody says aliens are advanced beings. True. You know what I'm saying? How do so, we know that? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's just like, like, who said that? Who started that rumor? If you think about all the permutations of the universe, there is a pot, there's definitely a planet where every alien is the wild, burned out pothead. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, 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 a planet full of shiftless SoundCloud boyfriends. You know what I'm saying? Not doing nothing. So then this podcast would be perfect for them. Yeah. They but out there like smoking schmack and do. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like just smoking fucking black narf. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What, they, yeah. off. You've Yo. been smoking black narf all uh, day. You, you smoking black narf all day? Huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> See, I'll be now. You know what I'm saying? And then they go, oh, damn, it's not like almost like yeah, a racist Asian thing. Right, let's, gonna, you know, let's just, you know. Just, that was racist against aliens, not Asians. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to hit a problem act like. Oh, oh. Yeah. you know what? Oh. You know what? Listen, oh, Peter Counter. Listen, we, we're sponsored by Cash App. Shout out to Cash App. You know what I'm saying? To keep the checks coming. But yeah. the Pino Counter, yeah. the Pino Counter had not started. Now it started. Burn. Now, someone pointed out uh, last week that. 
the Pinot counter should have ended almost immediately because we did start talking about Pinot. But no, now we're talking specifically about if we talk about sex. Yes. Yes. Sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you, Amy. Listen. You if remember when Salt and Pepper was on Sesame Street and they were like humping all the. Yes. Shit was there. That was lit. That was wild. That was wild. It was like grinding on Grover. Yeah. That shit was inappropriate. That was wild. And then they got mad at Katy Perry because she came out here with, with, with the with the, t- with the th- Yeah, like, she came yo, out with the, the uh, yeet. The, she came out with the chest yeeks. Yo. Yo. She came out with the jammers. I was like, yo, what are you doing? I yeah. was like, this is a children's show, but mm-hmm. yo, you out of pocket, but keep going. Keep going. She was like yeah. jumping around. Titties, yeah. She was like, this, bouncing. this episode is brought to you by the letter B. <laughs> <laughs> For breasts. Breast, baby. <laughs> Shout out to breasts. Yeah, yo, Shout out I, the breast. I like a good titty. You got a good titty. I like a good titty. I'm we gotta a invent titty. a better mammogram though. Yeah, that shit is mad weird, bro. It's just, it's just squashes the shit out yeah. of the titty. Like, That's terrible. It's you like could, a panini you, press for your tits. You like, know a guy. Terrible. You know a guy invented that shit. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. He's like, I'm, nigga, I'm gonna fuck got titties. Because th- there's no test for anything with your dick where they press. Where it they like smash that. your balls in a fucking. P- yeah, no, no. However, that STD test they do where they put the Q-tip swab thing in that. Yeah, yeah. That's either oof, the oof. first couple of times you're like, yo. Yo. Then the next couple of times you're like, hey, what's it, going on, y'all? It's like, yo, are you not gonna? You're, are you gonna put? That's cotton and wood. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna put something on there to like make it enter easily? Or? Yeah, you know what? No, we're not. Couple, we're not. Couple of shots of Hennessy before you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dilate your pee hole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Open your fourth eye. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no. Open your coin star. Yeah. Wait, does this talk? Is, this doesn't count as penal talk. We're talking about this. Pe- this this talk. is health talk. This is health talk. This is self care. Remember, you know we got that health talk. That health, health talk. talk. We yeah. could be doctors, right? Yeah. We know enough we know. about like. Yeah. Yeah. Talk, imagine, think about all the times you went to urgent care or ER, and just like the osmo- the knowledge you just picked up by osmosis. Well, not even that, but I've watched enough shows. A doctor shows. I watch Scrubs. I watch ER. Yeah. So I know shit. I could. We, we could definitely like do a double bypass surgery Easy. and like make it into a musical number. Easy. I could reattach a hand. For hold that, Zach Braff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You tell them. The fuck out of here. You tell them. Yeah. You tell, yeah. Also, Garden State was not an accurate representation of life in New Jersey from what I he- would have heard. Wow, wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Rah, yeah, mass smoke for Zach Braff. That's, that's right. No gang member. An extortionist. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's right. That's right. The OG of Fairlawn. He's letting you know, Zach Braff. You, you know not, what I'm saying? Are, is, is Zach Braff, is he banned from Fairlawn? Yo, you banned, dog. Damn. You know what I'm saying? It's on site for you, B. Damn. You know what I'm saying? If you I can't. see you crossing over the 33rd Street Bridge, fam. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You're going to catch a hot one. Wow, he's banned from the cul-de-sac? Yeah. Don't don't you dare take your scooty bike down my cul-de-sac, motherfucker, with your Raycon fucking accoutrements. Did, did, you know Zach, what I'm did Zach Braff do something to you? Let's nah. know this is anger. Nah. He just kind of looks like Ray Romano, and I just have like uh, have that weird residual of Ray Romano hate. Because I'm like, yo, that's my lane, dog. Didn't Zach Braff, he had the wild episode of Punk where he almost beat that kid up. That was wild. Yeah, so that was wild. Punk you... was wild, period. Yeah, because I'm like, yo, how did half of y'all not get snuffed within the first ten seconds? Well, I mean, they didn't air the ones that went bad. That's oh, what people oh, yeah, like. True, now yeah. that you know how TV is made, yeah. like, clearly, not every celebrity. We with didn't the air the broccoli. We didn't air the Mike Tyson episode. Okay, <laughs> imagine us on Punk. Do you think that shit's anywhere? You think we're gonna <laughs> ask questions and shit? Fair. <laughs> yo, I saw the one with Tracy Morgan where they put his like Ferrari on like a flatbed, and they were like, yeah, we gotta tow your car. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yo, but what the fuck is going on? I'd have been like, nah, y'all niggas not. Taking my Ferrari, no. I would have jumped in the fucking driver's truck and that tow truck, like and driver's seat of tow truck. Like, yo, listen, do you remember when Kanye was a baby on it? Yep, and they were trying to get the film footage, and he was like running in the parking lot. Yeah. And all that shit. <laughs> He's like, no, it's my footage. They could, they couldn't bring back punks. They <laughs> did, they did bring it back, but it's not the same. It's not the, it's same. Not the same. People will sue. Yeah. You get shot. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if they did bring it back, it would be lame. I'm sorry. It would be. Yes, thank you. But you know what? It'll be whack. You know what? Because wait, 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 you know what wait, 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 that's right. So yes, yes, caught himself. Yes, I did. And he said, "You know what? I'm a better person. I'm not going to say right. that L word." So that's shout right. out to you, growth, growth. Because when you grow, you allow yourself to get better. You and when you saying? become better, you know what? You know what I'm saying. Yes, she can't. That's when the blessings come in. Blessings come in. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even have to go in a straw and up your butt. Yeah. 
Molly in the butt. 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 My girl likes that. Molly in the butt. Molly in the butt. Molly in the butt. Yeah, we just gotta cut a track. We got to do. We gotta drop an album. We gotta do the EDM. Listen, people want it. Yeah, people want it. You know, it's like we're like the like a waitress, and we're you know. Someone called us backstage singing, and they're like, "Girl, oh, you're so good! Oh my god, you are so good! You should, you should, you should be famous. You should be a." And he's like, "I'm, I'm shy, I'm shy but I don't." Okay, low key, I, I just, I'm just, I, I just saying. Low key, I'm just saying the plot of the Star Is Born, but, but you know what? Fuck it's a, it, it's a great yeah, movie. Yeah. And then Jesus comes in drunk, and he goes to the drag club, yeah. and then Lady Gaga is singing in French. Yeah. And I was like, "Are those your eyebrows?" She's like, "No, they're not." You they're still not. haven't seen Star Is Born, have you? I, I, oh, I, I wow, see them, I haven't. wow. It's and it's it's like sitting there. It's sitting literally <laughs> sitting on top of the PlayStation. Like, yo, watch me. Watch me, watch me, watch me. And I'm just like, yeah, I will, I will, yeah. I promise. That's a hate crime. As it is. That is a hate crime. Low key. What do you have against the LBGTQIA community? All that, right. That, if you are an ally, you, if you're an ally, if you watch the Star is Born more than five times, you're an ally. Really? Yes. That's all I got to do? Right? Am I right? I'm right. Listen. Oh, That's shit. That's what you got to do. Oh, say less. We binge watch this tonight, baby. you go, man. Oh, well, you also, but you also have to uh, memorize it. You have to buy the soundtrack, and you have to, like, know the actual... Because in the soundtrack, because I actually bought the soundtrack, they have interludes, which are just stripped right from the movie. So you have to <sighs> learn the vocals. So you can Oof. just... So if you meet another Star is Born person, you can, like... Start duetting and yeah, shit? Yeah, you can oh, act out. Yeah. Oh, man. And also, uh, you, this is not necessary, but you have to wear a scarf. Just unnecessarily. Oh, yeah. Like, if you get on the train, you just have to have a scarf on. So other theater kids see you. And you be like, hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Have you seen A Star is Born? Yes, I have. Have mm-hmm. you? No. I'm in the deep end watching the train. You feel it? You feel it? You feel it? You feel it? Shout out to white people getting away from doing that shit for, for decades. What? Just like if if you're an R and B singer, mm-hmm. if you're like like let's say Usher drops an album. Usher. And the vo- the vocals are not there. Mm-hmm. He can't just be like, oh, and people yeah. be like, yeah, oh yeah, we'll accept that. But fucking Eddie Vedder, nigga, Bob Dylan. That's Bruce right. Springsteen. That's right. All your legends, Ooh. all your heroes. Ooh. Them niggas get on the mic. Especially Eddie Vedder. Has Eddie Vedder ever said a real word on a record ever in life? No. No. He only said one word that was a real word and it was even flow. And I don't even know if that's a real word or if it's just a brand of baby bottles. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. All right. Listen. I'm lashing out against '90s alternative rock. Yeah, I don't. Today, I don't, I don't know why. Are you, are you the Mike Francesa of alternative rock? <laughs> Yo, like is this your lane? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Uncle Victor. Yeah, yeah. Yay! Yay! Also, very appropriate time for Victor to enter. You know what I'm saying? Because we're discussing alternative rock. Shout out to Silver Chair. Wow. They were ahead of their time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Silver, Silver Sun pickups. <laughs> yeah, word. Shout out to Silver Sun pickups. You know what I'm saying? I rock that shit a rock band. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first time, long time. Uh, <laughs> Mike Rock fans just, uh, what do you want to hear your thoughts on Pearl Jam? And I'll hang up and listen. Well, yeah. Eddie, uh, oh, so this is what, this is what I'm telling you. Uh, you got, you know, I'm Mike Francesa. I'm a, I'm a fan of the, of the classic standards, you know, Sinatra, Frankie Valli. You know, people like that. People who actually could sing. You got then you got these guys like Eddie uh what's his name? What's uh Eddie Mons, what's this guy's name? Uh Eddie Eddie Vitter? Eddie Eddie Everett. Oh, oh okay, Eddie Vitter. The guy goes on stage, the guitars start going crazy, and then this guy goes on the mic and goes, Start singing. Start singing at all. Boss, give me another Diet Coke. Oh, man. Your, your hate for Eddie Vedder, Zach Braff, and Ray Romano is just... I don't know. That's, is that... When are them going to run up on us? We got to tell security now. We got to yeah, be like, yo... Yeah, yo, clap that nigga. Yo, if Ray Romano... Yo. Ray Romano's mad tall. He is. He's mad tall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you got... Yo, if, so is Tower One. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I took it there. Wow. Yeah, episode one, motherfucking, whatever the fuck we're on.
Are you you all right? I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm good. I'm centered now. A little nine eleven joke. <laughs> a sip of too soon? Co- uh, not too soon, but <laughs> I don't know if it was too soon or not necessary at all. <laughs> maybe Gouch. Maybe maybe you know. Maybe it was the parsley on the plate. Do they still put parsley on plates? <laughs> they do as garnish. Yeah, yeah. I don't it's go a to, waste. That's a, you know what? I don't go to any nice places that put parsley on plates. I don't. I can't even think of the last restaurant I went to that had par. It seems unnecessary. So this is the thing. Over your third eye. The reason they use so much corn syrup in America is because there's a surplus of corn. Same thing with parsley. They just throw that shit on the plate because there's so much of it that you know what I'm saying Monsanto is forcing restaurants and chain food operations to purchase parsley as a garnish when it's totally unnecessary. Okay. Open right. third eye. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I don't know about that. Though. I read that on Business Insider on the back cover. Business Insider. <laughs> I wrote it myself oh, <laughs> in man. Sharpie at 4 a.m. when I was high. Parsley. <laughs> Parsley's mad and necessary. Have it's mad necessary, that? but you know you can eat it. It's only necessary for Jewish holidays. That's all it's necessary for. It's what? for Passover. That's it. For Passover? Is it necessary? Yeah. What do you do with you it on dip, Passover? You dip it in the salt water, and then you put it on your tongue. It's supposed to signify the tears of the Jews that were enslaved in Egypt and forced to build pyramids and stuff like that. Um, Claire, help me out here. Yeah. Oh, real? Hey! Ding, ding, ding. Come on yeah. down! Come on down! You're the next contestant on Jew Feud! I did it! Alright. Shout out to that. That's for you, Judy. Yeah. It's Miro and Judy. You know what I'm saying? Wow, okay. A little, <laughs> a little knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Well, you get everything on this podcast. You got we got we talked about mammograms. Por- mammograms. We talked about uh not we, porn no yet. porn. No porn yet. Passover. Passover. We talked about 9-11. 9-11, eleven, Molly in the Butt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Molly in the Butt. Yeah, uh, shit. Um what else? else? What else can we talk about? Let's talk about Hyman's. I enjoyed Phyllis Hyman. She was a good singer. She was an amazing singer. Mm-hmm. Vocal range was unmatched. Yes. Unmatched. Died from a hot bag, yeah. but you know what? But you know what? It is what you know. When you have a creative of that magnitude, mm-hmm. sometimes it's like you know they they overwhelm themselves. Yeah, her story you know was sad. It was sad story. It was sad. Yeah. Also, Ti looks at like his daughter Simon. Yeah. Oh, so that yeah. In other news, do you look at yours? Hell no. Okay, just have to. I'm, I'm like I'm. So this is my thing. Okay. And and I have this conversation with Heather all the time. It's like I don't have a vagina. I only know how sure. to. Uh, I'm I'm positive. Let me like see. I've checked. Let me see. Like I've checked. Like with the mirror. You know how they tell you uh, they tell like in hygiene class yeah. they're like, girls, get a mirror, check down there. You did that too? I did that too. I was like, fuck it, y'all doing it, I'm gonna do it too. I was like, and what he was is like, it? I got a dick. What, yeah, I got balls. I got... You know what I'm saying? I was like in a gooch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's the gooch. I'm checking my gooch out. Check you know out the saying? gooch. <laughs> Hey. Gooch sounds like a, a delicious Italian dish. <laughs> oh, hey. Would you like the gooch? Uh, let me get the gooch with the butter and uh, would, some parsley on the side. Uh, would you like the gooch? The gooch, uh, it goes uh, perfect with a nice cabernet. Would you like? Uh, you know what? You know what? I'll get gooch for two. Uh, oh, double gooch. Double gooch. Ooh. Ooh. Would it's, you, it's something you get at the Italian restaurant on City Island. Would you like the skinless gooch or the hair gooch? The hair gooch. And uh, put some par- uh, Parmesan cheese on oh, top. Oh, yes. wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gooch. Excellent choice. It's amazing here. <laughs> <laughs> gooch. Yeah. We saw a restaurant called Gooch. It just G like you umlaut. Like how Jay-Z used to just mm-hmm. put the umlaut for no reason. Over and all, oh. all we do is serve the gooches of animals. Yeah. yeah. So you could get goose gooch. Yeah. Go gooch. Go gooch. Uh, kangaroo gooch. Kangaroo. We got fresh giraffe gooch. You know what I'm saying? You ever had giraffe gooch? Don't knock it till you try it. You know what I'm saying? P. Look. Wells, come review Gooch. Gooch. Come you know review it. We're better, we're better than Peter Lugers. You know I'll tell you that much. You know what I mean? Hey, oh, uh, it was cash only. Fresh Gooch, though. Fresh, fresh, fresh Gooch. gooch. Um, fresh off the boat. What other Gooch? We have to have like one controversial Gooch. Oh, we um, have a uh, human Gooch. You, yeah. Human Gooch from China. We, yes. didn't, we didn't ask where it came from. We didn't know. Y'all want it or not? Nah? Yo, if your uncle got disappeared, it might be his Gooch. But we don't know that. And we're not asking any questions because we're getting a good wholesome price. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We're just buying it in bulk. That's it. <laughs> we just get a container on a shipping thing. That's the guy's like, yeah, yeah, just time for this. And he's looking around. I'm like, ooh, hey, that's a lot of gooch. Way too. Uh, we get gooch on seamless. <laughs> Wait. $10 of your first order of gooch. <laughs> 
Wait till John Taffer comes and shuts down Gooch. He's like, what is this? What is this? This is anal tissue. There's human Gooch on this sink. What's going on here? He touched Gooch without wearing gloves. Now there's Gooch everywhere. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. There's feces molecules. Look, look at this. I sent someone in. Look, you can't even eat that gooch. Look how dry it is. Look, it's flaky. Come on. It wasn't even cooked properly. You left the gooch out overnight? That gooch got salmonella. Come on. I, to, gooch uh, must be refrigerated uh, after 10 hours. 60% of gooch sales in this area go to people who are in a mixed race marriage with Asian children and make 95K a year and have vitamin A in their blood. Who are you marketing to? They need to, they need to be marketing to them. They need to be eating gooch. <laughs> That's yeah. all. Open up a Gucci bubble tea spot. <laughs> Gucci balls. Gucci balls. Gucci. 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 We call it Gucci. And get sued immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Gucci. We just use the same font and everything. Like, Every, yeah. The same logo and everything. Let's just make, let's make knock all Gucci. Because are we? You know what? The protest to Gucci was weird. Because everyone was like, "Oh, they did blackface, so we're not buying them." And I was like, "We don't really buy." You have Gucci, and this is like that's not fair to you. If you want to buy Gucci, like. No one at Gucci was like, oh, no, the blacks, they are not wearing our clothes. Oh, no. Like, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> a pita puta, pita puta, uh, they are not wearing our clothes. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to get some Gucci and people the bapo. Oh, no. <laughs> and like, okay, that's not, a, that's not a, that's not how boycotts work. You can't boy, like, that's like, oh, I'm boycotting um, Aston Martin. Uh, done and done. Okay, like, fine, I was yeah, about to buy one. Me too. Yeah. Guess what? I'm Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you say? Guess what? I'm Lamborghini. <laughs> guess what? I'm boycotting. Wow. Wow. Miro. Miro. <laughs> Miro. I think you just had a stroke on camera. Bro, it's so early. It's, wow, it's so, not that early, bro. No, for me. I've been Meryl, out for Meryl, like six Meryl, hours. Do you smell pennies cooking? <laughs> no. I smell my eyeballs. Did your arm like, hurt? Are you having a stroke? My eyeballs are doing that thing where your headphones start to like kind of like cut out. When yeah. they're just like l- battery, 5%. <laughs> my <laughs> eyeballs are like. Eh, eh, Did you not eh. get any sleep yesterday? I never sleep. I never sleep. Well, that's good because sleep is the cousin of death. You know what I'm saying? All right. Hip hop, hip hop. You know what Real hip hop. Uh, uh, uh. Down, down, you know what I'm down. Down, down, down. <laughs> Listen, you never, you don't know where you, you never know where you at because you, you just saying? be minding your business, uh. just chilling. And next thing you know, That's you know right. what I'm saying? You hear it, you what's that? Yo, yo, what's that yo, in the yo, distance? Yo, shit? What's that in the distance? Yo, what the fuck is that? Yo, yo oh shit, oh shit, yo, hey, yo, oh shit, yo, yo, hey, yo, time? shit, yo, is, time? is that, is that hip hop? Yo, it's hip, yo, yo, hey, yo, black is time, it's black is time, it's like it's time for hip hop. <laughs> Yo, yo, nigga, it's time for hip hop. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Yo, hip hop. Yo, hip hip hop. Hop, 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 hip hop, hip hop, hop, hop. When I hop, then can I hip hop? Hop, hop, hip hop, hip hop. That was enough. That was enough. Break this and then graffiti and hip hop and turn tables. <laughs> we'll be performing our hit single hip hop at Queens Community College. That's right. On Thursday at 3 p.m. We also have 38 tour dates in Sweden. Yes. <laughs> Killing it. Killing it. There's a stadium for the white people saying the N word in hip hop. They don't even know what it means. Some of them might even come in blackface. But you know what? Yo, they bought the ticket. They could do what they it. want. You can wear, wear blackface and get cornrows and dress up as Lord Finesse. I, it's fine. You can do it in Switzerland. Yo, fine. I, who am I to stop you? Yo, listen. You know what? I think I, I thought I saw people in blackface in Denmark and no, they were just dirty. Yeah. yeah it's kind of sad. That's the sad part when you're they, like, yo, hey, I'm a fa- oh. oh, I was like, oh. Oh, Damn, dude, you stink, nigga. Damn. Mm-hmm. My offense went from went from offense to secondhand embarrassment. It went from offense to of, of <laughs> mm. God damn. That's terrible. That's terrible. You, you stink. You stink, nigga. <laughs> nigga stink. <laughs> sir, sir, you smell too bad to be in Gooch. <laughs> I have to ask you to leave. The other patrons are complaining. So you can't come into Gooch smelling like a Gooch. Okay. <laughs> I can't even enjoy my Gooch. He stinks. <laughs> This whole controversy we throw a homeless guy out of Gooch. Yo, what is it? What does this a plated Gooch look like? <laughs> what is it? 
like a little parsley. The go- you gotta have the gooch sitting up. The little like what's the little, little sauce like circle around the yeah. gooch or whatever. No, like, you gotta yeah. have like kind of dripping out. Or like you write gooch in cursive like under the gooch. Yeah. Is that too much? It's a little tacky. It's a little tacky. Yeah. If we're a high end restaurant. Yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. IHOP. Yeah, okay. No, true, yeah, no one's coming there. Like, let me get the fresh and fruity, rich and gucci. <laughs> rich and gucci. <laughs> it's just a pancake with the gooch and some pancakes, <laughs> some wheat toast. <laughs> Yeah, can yeah. I get a high chair? Yeah. It's a 40 minute wait for a high chair. So. I went to Yardbird the other day. Oh, and boy. No, Yard House. Yard House. Yard House, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, yo, it was like, it's like a two hour wait. I was like, are you serious? They were like, yeah, we don't got no high chairs. I was like, I don't need a high chair. I am a person with no big kids. They was like, oh shit, you're going right now. I was like, oh wow. It was a Saturday. And I think a lot of people, Rich Hill. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people oh, bring groups yeah, of kids yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Shit. That's why you got to finesse and be like, yo, I'll just hit at the bar. It's fine. You can't be sitting at the bar at like 1 p.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> at yard, I was like, like, like the only people, if you can only sit at a bar at 1 p.m. if um, your wife left you, your kids left you, or you're going to jail and you're just thinking about your life. <laughs> but you're going to jail for like a white collar crime. Like, this is, it, listen, this everyone off. in White Plains is like, he's right. Yeah, he's right. He's right. He's right. He's, right. he's, right. he's absolutely right. You think about why you your know? wife left you. You're like, mm, you know yeah. what? You come around to a realization you should have treated her better. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know what happened? I embezzled funds. Yeah. Now I'm go I'm under indictment. I'm going to jail. What what's your what's your going date? Uh tomorrow. Oh. So that's why I'm here. You know what house? This Just round on me. Uh, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, Thanks listen. A lot. Hey. How you nice doing? Nice to meet you. Ah, how you doing? Dave, how you what's... uh my name is Mike. I, I sit here cuz uh you know, um my daughters don't talk to me. Oh. Uh I reject their lifestyle. Oh, okay. And you know what? They haven't spoken to me. I haven't seen my grandchildren in years. I've been blocked on Facebook. And oh. uh, yeah. And my wife is dating a black guy now. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How did your family take you voting for Trump? You know what? Uh, surprisingly, not well. Mine either. You know what? I and don't understand. Someone actually spat on me earlier, but thank you for noticing my MAGA hat. Oh, that's why I came over. Yeah, I, saw, I saw Kindred Spirit listen. and I said, you know, that's one of my guys. Hey, bartender. Uh, let's uh, toast to uh, building this wall. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, wait. He's one of those. Uh, hey, Dunde yeah. Estas El Tequila. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. That guy's Can I get some patron? I got little... <laughs> Give me some patron. I got a little dark. <laughs> no, nah, there's definitely MAGA people with white face, and they will have their hat on. And they're like, what do you think about it, bro? Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up, bro? You know, you, you're not a Trump. You're one of those non Trumpers. I'm like, uh, yeah, fam, I'm like, just trying to go to the vet. Dog, like. Damn. You, like I like I don't I'm not gonna I'm like, Sir, this is a pet code. Okay. Excuse me. Respect it. I'm looking for the pro plan. Okay. Where where are the cat beds? Uh, Over there? Like okay, oh the, the reheat like the ones that reflect heat? Uh no, nah, no, nah, I don't like my cat like that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually a cat bed is any fucking thing a cat wants to it's sleep Absolutely. On. All right, I have a cat bed for Charlie. He's had it for twelve years. You know how many times he slept in it? Oh uh, none. Zero. None. Because yeah, he was zero. like, Oh, cat bed. Oh, that's wild, because my bed is your bed. Oh, that's, yeah. And then people would be like, oh, I don't let my cat sleep in my bed. I was like, how you stop that shit? Like, I wake up, and that cat is, his ass is on my face, like, yo, what's up? <sighs> what's up? What's good morning, daddy? Oh, I'm like, yo, man. chill, bro. Shout out to my two cats. Rest in peace to Raul. Raul, and... I miss you on that rainbow road of cats and dogs who have died you know before the time was due. Raul. I always say his name like uh, the Terror Squad shit. Like uh, Fat Joe says, Raul. Raul. <laughs> uh, but he uh, he perished. Mm-hmm. And uh, rest in peace to the homie. Rest in peace to the homie. You uh, should have got a back tattoo like DMX. Yo, I put boom. that on, my nigga Raul. Raul. It, it don't hit the same. <laughs> it don't hit the same. Boom and Raul. Raul. <laughs> Imagine you take off your shirt and you got a big ass tattoo of a cat on your back. It's not the. It's not the same as a pimple. Like that's gonna get you invited to brunches and book clubs in Park Slope. Especially a cat with like a wild one, like a one eye and shit. Like nigga, I have clothes. She's declawed. White women are gonna come up to you like, was he a rescue? Oh, oh my god, oh you're my an god. ally. Oh, I love it. I love it. You're gonna be like the poster show, poster child for North Shore Animal League. <laughs> Yo, shout out to North Shore Animal League for having commercials forever. And I'm and every time I, I called up there once because I was trying to get. Before we got Brownie, we were like, yo, we're not going to buy a dog. We're right. going to get a rescue mm-hmm. and like do the right thing or whatever. So I called up there. I was like, yo, do you have Shih Tzus? Yeah. I was like, I'm trying to surprise my wife with a Shih Tzu. She grew up with Shih Tzus and Afghan hounds. Mm-hmm. And then I Googled what an Afghan hound was. And I was like, nope. I'm not getting one of those. Nope. I'm not getting that fucking pony. Mm-hmm. So I was like, let's get a small apartment dog. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, do you have Shih Tzus? And they were like, yeah. They were like, yo, you could come in and see them. So I go and I take the watch up to... uh 
Staten Fuck, Island? Was it? Long Island. Long Island. This shit yeah. is deep in Long Island. Yep. No shih tzus. Well, they probably had one at the time, and because they their turnover is a lot. Because if you grew up in New York, you remember uh, North Shore Animal League used to always have an ad in the Daily yep. News. So as a kid, every week I get my heart broken because I cut out the ad and I put it on the fridge. I'm like, and then I'm like, look, you get free vaccinations yeah, and wee wee pads. You get a yeah, puppy. You like get a whole like a cage. cage. My father be like, I'm getting a hot dog. I'm like. I was like, when I meet my real father, ooh, it's quiet for you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> my dog was like, yeah, my father was like, you can have a dog, nigga, but the nigga got to stay outside. I was no. like, dad, we're not, we don't live in DR. <laughs> it's not 75 and comfortable every day. It's, it's, it's uh, below freezing. No, there's, my father was like, there's we, homeless people dying. We have five dogs growing up. Uh, King, Queen, Sheba, King, Queen, Sheba, King 2, and uh, Rex. Five German Shepherds growing up as a kid in the Bronx back when the Bronx was wild. <laughs> and all five of the dogs, they threw fireworks at the dogs and they ran off. My neighborhood was wild. Like uh, the first person in my neighborhood, first time I ever got called the N word was by a Dominican <laughs> who was darker than me. Shout out to Freddie. <laughs> That should be hurting, cause uh, yo, my man. It, it wasn't hurting. I was like, like as a kid, I was like, you're darker than me. I literally said that to him. <laughs> yo, well, I was like, yo, fam, you're blacker than me. Like, how are you using the n word? <laughs> I got called the n word by a black guy who, like, a, you know, those bad people. I was like, yo, where you from? And they'd be like, oh, I'm Haitian. Like, oh, I'm Jamaican. I'm Panamanian. And they're like, yo, I'm from South Carolina. Yeah. And that motherfucker was like, nigger to me, and I was just like, uh, I was like, don't. I was like, what? I was like, uh, you all know how wild life is i was about to be like when have you gotten called the n-word and then i'm like wait a minute you literally got called the n-word with me <laughs> literally yeah. it's that happened on wild. multiple occasions you know what that we don't even like acknowledge that that event was just like eh, yeah, it just happened. you know what i was thinking do you understand what scumbags we would be if we worked on tv like if we never had the show or the podcast or whatever oh, and we oh. were just like our age we still dress the same way Fair. but if we were just like if we were in the bronx just still hanging out fam are you kidding me oh my god are I'm you probably, kidding me? i'd definitely be in jail Fam, I all, would definitely. all my friends that went to jail when I started doing TV stuff mm-hmm. are back home now yeah. and are back doing jail yo, activities. So I'm like, yeah, we, we would have just been hop. Oh, yo, you know hey, back to jail. In an alternate universe, me and you meet in jail. And we're just the, <laughs> the funniest two motherfuckers in jail. It's the, she turns like, into life. People are trying to like sit in our cell to hear us. We're doing like our podcast. What we have to re- we do our podcast through the vents and shit. Yeah. Niggas just like listening, like, oh shit. We even do TikToks and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Niggas like, yo, yeah. these niggas is lit. Yeah. Yo, who are these guys? Yo, these guys, yo. yo them niggas is in jail. Yo. Niggas is in asinine. <laughs> yo, with the B block boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas is in prison. Niggas is sending, niggas writing on tissue and sending it under our cards. Yo, I really like the podcast. But please tell Meryl to stop making ramen while he's <laughs> making it. Shout out to my jail niggas cooking up food. Yeah. Also, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tax Stone, the homie. Mm-hmm. Who shouted us out on Instagram yesterday. Shout to him. Shout to, shout to him. You know, yeah. I'm sure that raises a myriad of concerns about yeah. the Department of Corrections. Listen. But, you know, he said, shout out to Deez and Meryl. The only people from the Bronx that I trust other than Remy Ma and Cardi B. So. <laughs> Shout out to the homie. Free Shout the homie. Tax, free tax all day. You already Again, noticed. I got to remind people, when you say free the homie, it does not mean, it's not like the Central Park Five. No. It's, it's just like, yo, acknowledge them. They're in jail. Like, yeah. Free the homie. We'd like to see him eventually out. I'm not saying he shouldn't be in there. No one should be in jail. But, you know, a tax stone shouldn't be in jail because he has a good personality. That's right. I think the judge should have been like, you know what? You're you're a funny guy. You're a good guy. You're you can good do guy. good things. You know what? You know you what? Know what? ROR. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. He's a good kid. <laughs> keep, yeah, keep, keep your nose clean. It, for the culture. For the culture. <laughs> <laughs> Beloved. Yeah. You know what? Combat Jack would want to see you out. Let's you go. Let him free him. Free Arkham the home. to the God. You know what I'm saying? Rip to the God. You know what I mean? Damn, tax is really in jail. That's crazy. Every now and then I stop and I'm like, damn. Nah, nah, That's crazy. I think it's in prison. <laughs> true. True. There's, there is a difference. There <laughs> is a difference. <laughs> uh, yo. But yo. Listen. Keep taxes books right, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's doing good. Yeah, he's chilling. He's he's, he's doing chilling. He's chilling. He chilling. Last time I uh, Facetime with him, he was eating a steak. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Last time I Facetime with him, he was he was slicing garlic really thin, really thinly. <laughs> nah, we was Facetiming and like some seamless guy just came like. <laughs> <laughs> 
He was like, uh, uh, he was like, uh, East you, got my, you, got my, you got my cheesecake factory, beloved. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Can you yeah. get seen? You can't. You know what? If you try to get seamless in jail, the guards are gonna beat the shit out of you. Yo, that's a fact. Because first of all, fact. you're making it hot. You have a cell phone, but Come on. also, fam, you doing you do a live podcast for yourself? And you got then a, you get in Cheesecake Factory. If you it? if you get seamless in jail, you got a tip at least forty percent. Oh, you got to minimum, got minimum, to. minimal. Minimal. And I guess you gotta get some for the direct uh the COs as well. Yeah, so, yeah. So like yo, here, hold this down. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, get your kids something nice. I don't go to jail <laughs> or that. It's true. That's the. I feel like that's the easier alternative. Yeah. Like, no, you know, going to jail is one of those things that sneaks up on you. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah, you really, because when you in bookies, you like you that moment. You like, how the fuck did I? What did I, you just think about your whole day? How your whole day was going? You're like, I was, and then one event, what maybe one bad decision, and now you are in bookings. He was like, I woke up. I woke up. I met got up bacon with, and cheese. Met up with these niggas. Met up with these niggas. Smoked some weed. Da, 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 da. Got on a train. Got on a train. The dude was talking crazy to the shorty on the train. Mm-hmm. Got involved. Got involved. Hit the punched nigga. a guy. He fell down on the tracks. Had his bleeding. And now here we are. Uh, manslaughter. Damn. Wow. Damn. Wow. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, you know the problem is I was gonna say we should remake life, but Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence won't fucking retire, and they're gonna remake life. Yo, facts. So we gotta remake. Uh, we gotta remake life, but we gonna call it like twenty five to life. We are gonna make the wild, yeah. the wild Netflix knockoff. Twenty fifth hour of to life. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> now I like how you're thinking, because you know they do reboots, but we shouldn't do reboots. We're gonna do knockoff reboots. Knockoff reboot mishmash. Okay. When Mash you see us in a police university, great movie, great I, movie. I'm the black guy that does the sound effect. There we go. Yeah. There we go. We get a short black one. Done. There we go. What other movies? We're gonna our new movie where we hunt ghosts called Ghost Hunters. If there's something strange in the houses near where you reside, who are you gonna text? Contact Ghost Hunters. I don't get anxiety from haunted creatures. Yeah, I ain't afraid of no spirits. There you go. There we go. I like the phone with this. Uh, completely original. We're gonna do. Uh, uh, Let's make them all women. All the Ghostbusters women? Didn't they do that already? Oh yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay. Let's make them all women of color. Okay. Now, all right. Now you're just pandering. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's make them all. Let's make three of them women of color, and one disabled man. Okay, I don't even want to see this movie at this point. Brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> <laughs> Ron Tomatoes is like 100%! Amazing. We have to find, like, we have to find a marginalized group yeah. that is not represented, represented mm-hmm. and put them on. So I'm thinking we get four people mm-hmm. who are left handed. Ooh. Yeah. And the whole movie, they're like, oh my god, my ghost hunting gun is made for right handed oh, people. No. When will we get ours? Oh no. All right, I don't know if people are going to watch that. Or like a British dude who comes to the United States and has to learn how to drive. Oh, 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 oh The no. ghosts are on the right side oh, of the road. No. Oh, 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 no. oh, oh, my tea and crumpets. Oh, all right, no. that's not good. What about Top Boy, but they're all ghosts? Boom. You know what I'm saying? Ah, Ghost boo. boy. Where's my peas, bro? Bro. 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 Um, I'm, I'm going to haunt your house, oh. mate. Boo. Knife crank. Boo, boo, mate. Okay, that's not the same. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're working on it. Shit. You know uh, what? If we just continue our career trajectory, uh-huh. one day, me, you, and Victor are going to be in a room, and we're going to be running some network. We're just going to crank out some bad shows. Oh, some terrible I'm shit. talking about some terrible. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, listen, you guys don't understand how bad oh, these shows are going to be. Oh, let me see. What's one of the shows? Uh... Dick, but you know what? You can't do worse than that. To, you know, I, America was in love with Alf. Facts. Okay? Fam, All for that. We could come in. We could start a whole network and just come in super smacked every morning. Every day. And just put out a show called A Meme I Saw. Yeah. And that would be it. Yeah. It'll be like A Meme I Saw. And mm-hmm. then we just talk about the meme for half an hour. And then that's it. Good night, folks. Wait till y'all see my sitcom. My baby's a taco. Y'all don't want that <laughs> shit. You don't want that. I 
Oh my god, my baby's a taco. Oh no. My baby's a taco was filmed for a live studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not eating my baby. Is it gonna see the commercial? <laughs> Sponsored by Taco Bell. <laughs> Every Tuesday, time LeBron comes through. <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday. Shh, my son is sleeping. Stop. Shh. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You got to chill with that. I don't think. You know what? I think I didn't get the job because my son is a taco. <laughs> y'all are anti-taco. Uh-huh. Y'all want to see that? Y'all want to see that dark episode? Y'all are anti-guac. When the top. <laughs> anti guac <laughs> Wow. Wait for that episode where the cops stop my taco, son. Yo. What you doing in this neighborhood, boy? Huh? 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 We going with our iceberg lettuce. Huh? Uh-huh. Hmm? Mm. It's not lost on me that we're suspending disbelief, but is the taco black or is it Mexican? He's taco. Or, like, oh. He's Tex-Mex. He's t- yeah. <laughs> He's black again. <laughs> He's even more marginalized. And then there's a weird episode because he's like a Taco Bell taco, and then he meets like an actual oh, real yeah. and then taco like, truck they're taco. Like, they're like, "You're not a real, you're, you're not, not a real, real Mexican homes. homes. You're you know not a real saying? taco homes." Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. You know, you know your your dad's white homes. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh. "Mommy, they were yelling at." Listen, you're my special taco. Yeah. Okay. You always be my but you're my, my little taco. Loco. Okay. Don't let them talk to you like that. <laughs> you're my little chalupa. Okay. <laughs> a chalupa's not even real, Holmes. Everyone's like, "This is clearly sponsored by Taco Bell, right?" I was like, no, "It's not." <laughs> it's not. What would make you think that? Well, why would you ever suspect a thing? They're like his best friend's a quesadilla. I was like, "So, <laughs> so, okay." Also, the show's called Nachos Bel Grande. So what? So what? They're like, "Y'all sold out." I was like, yeah, we sold up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! My son the taco. It's followed by our show Apple B. This is like an Apple and Tim's, <laughs> and it's a B. Yeah, this is hanging out. They're like, this is just the Bodega Boys in the cartoon version. Miro's an Apple. This is a B, but they're plugging Applebee's. <laughs> yo, my nigga, is an Applebee's. Yo, my nigga, what do you want to do today? Yo, let's go to Applebee's, yo. Yo, yo they that got, sounds dead ass. They got these great screens where you can play games and order your appetizers while you wait. Wow, that's crazy. I heard that today you can get an appetizer for $5.99. That's right, $5.99. Say word. Let's hit it right now, boy. Oh, shit, let's get it. Mm. Going to Applebee's. Going to Applebee's. Going to Applebee's because I want to get a buzz. <laughs> 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 this show is terrible. <laughs> Ten season order. <laughs> Produced by Chuck Lorre. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Somehow Charlie Sheen is in it. No oh, shit. Uh, Charlie Sheen is the plug. <laughs> oh man. And these shows are terrible. Yo, but yo. they're gonna make us a lot of money. Oh boy. Oh shit. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh man. Can't wait. Can't <laughs> wait. So we have like problems like oh, I can't even get out my front door because of stacks of money in my living room, bro. Oh god. I hate no. this shit. No. Bro. I can't wait to be like stupid rich like uh I want to get rich to the point where, like, Elizabeth Warren's taxes worry me. Yeah. Well, I say, so, I'll be like, yo, okay, listen. Look, look, listen. So, so, so. If I only have $6 billion left in the bank, like, how's my family supposed to eat? Huh? So, like, so how about this? What if my bank is in the Cayman Islands? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not really America. You know what I'm saying? It's technically it's dollars. True, true, true. But they're Cayman dollars now, so it's different. You know what I'm saying? How much more, like, okay, if you have. If you have a billion dollars, mm-hmm. what's the difference between having a billion dollars and a hundred and twenty billion dollars? I, I like can't what? Even, do you, what can't you buy with a billion dollars? I can't fathom spending a billion dollars. Like no, I, you like, can't as a person spend a billion dollars. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't. You have to. You have to take like five hundred million and invest it in something, and then you still are like, yo, I got five hundred million dollars. The fuck am I gonna do with this? But five hundred million is not half a billion. It is. It is? Yeah. It is exactly half a billion. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. I broke. I don't know this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, the fi- so now you got, you, you got 500 million just germinating and growing. Mm-hmm. And now you got 500 million to spend? What the fuck are you going to spend 500 million dollars on? And, and, and this is with the caveat that this is all post taxes. Mm-hmm. You have been taxed. You paid your fair share and all that shit, blah, 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 blah. And you're left with a clean billy. What the fuck are you going to do with that? Here's my take. Having a billion dollars is whack and boring. 
I mean, I say this because think about everyone that has mad money, mm -hmm. how corny they are. Yeah. Think about Jeff Bezos, he's corny. corny. Like Bloomberg's about to run for mayor. Why? 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 Because he's bored. You gonna he's run? No, he's running for president. Why run for? He could. You could literally buy a country. You could literally buy like Nova Scotia and rename that shit Bloombergville. Yeah. But you you want to run for president? No, no. Like, come on. Come on Jeff Bezos over here, he just bought a house that has like 23 bathrooms. For what, nigga? You got to pee in everyone? We need to do a movie. Not a movie. Oh, uh, yeah. I said it's a movie. We need to rob Jeff, Jeff Bezos. We do a movie where we rob Jeff Bezos and but we get lost really. in his house because it's so fucking big. That's the okay. This is the movie. We break into it's like Home Alone with Jeff Bezos. Yeah. We break into Jeff Bezos' house, planning to kidnap him. But the house is so big, we're just trapped there for a month. Yeah. We don't see him. Then he's on he some doesn't see us. We don't know how to get out. Yo, like what the fuck? We just send them squatting. Yeah. <laughs> like we end up there so long, like we end up suing for custody of the house. <laughs> Squatters' rights. It's a win for the little guy. Yeah. What do you need twenty three bathrooms for? Uh, what the. That's just that's, that's a, just some tell like like that's you know what that was for that was for when he invites Michael Jordan over for brunch and he's like hey Mike you know how many bathrooms I got twenty three okay that's a that <laughs> <laughs> that's how rich you gotta be because you when you have that amount of money that's the type of that's the that's type, the type of shit you do the stupid shit well did you see what Jay Z for his gala the VIP passes are forty thousand uh, dollar Rolexes so Meek Mill got one and like other people but it's for a charity event. Uh, where you're gonna there's gonna be a ball and stuff is good but i'm just like couldn't you have just taken that 40k and just invested it directly into the charity because i don't know i'm too i'm broke i'm broke big. i don't know how money works listen. Look, I, listen i stood in an aisle this week holding two loaves of bread shout out to western beef trying to figure <laughs> out which one was worth the bang was, for the buck you know what i'm saying i didn't want the at, high fructose corn syrup at, yeah exactly you, you know look what I'm at the ounces versus ounces, the potato bread versus wheat bread you know what I'm saying? expiration dates that potato bread be hitting though that should be hitting like Ooh. a motherfucker you can't survive on just potato bread but man that shit is tell me it doesn't take your sandwiches to the next level oh my mm -mm. god oh my god i like i'll eat a whack trash like you know them burgers that come in like 50 packs and like fucking stop and shop mm-hmm I'll eat that shit like it's a motherfucking five star with some potato bread. Peter Luger burger. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> On oh, that Martin's potato roll, boy. Ooh, shout out to Martin's it. potato Ooh, rolls. Shit. Shout out to Martin's potato rolls. God damn. Them shit be banging. Well, but you know, you we advertise the niggas for free. <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> but yo, this shit slaps. I, I don't think we're advertised. Like Martin's potato I don't, they know, I they don't know. feel like they're that big. They know. Are they a huge company? The, probably, maybe. Are they, owned by, is they, are they owned by somebody else? Because a lot bread. of these like smaller looking shits are like owned by like Nabisco or some shit, which is now Mondelez. But how? Because what, what? the Nabisco factory is by my crib, and it was oh. beautiful. Because I would roll the window down and smell like fresh baked cookies. Oh. And then uh, the Markal factory burned down. But what factory? Uh, Markal. You know, speaking of one ply toilet paper, like last week, mm -hmm. um, they are like the number one purveyor of like one ply toilet paper. Markal. Well, I'm glad they burned down. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Uh, you know what? <laughs> They've been making bread since 1955. All American family owned and operated. Oh. Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland? No. Char uh, no, no, no. Uh, Chambers, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, shit. So they're racist. Okay. Oh, no, I can't say that. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they're, making, they're like, yo, we just make potato bread. Like, yo, this, yo, this hate is taking this BLT to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, can you, do you have to stop eating stuff because people are racist? Uh, I don't know. Is the head of McDonald's racist? We don't know. Who knows? Can you slap food out of the hands of people? Who make food <laughs> that, are, that are hateful and spiteful? I Jesus. mean, I mean, listen. <laughs> Had to slap that Chick Fil A out of Shorty's hands. <laughs> she knows better now. As soon as that shit happened, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be on Twitter at eleven, like thirty-one, <laughs> just to see what people got to say." Uh, yeah, you know, you're listen, on the right side of history. I am. I, I'm always on the right side of history. <laughs> okay, there's a video of me during World War II. And I said to Hitler, I was like, yo, man, chill. Chill. You wildin'. I tried to stop it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When they was about to do slavery in America and the boat was landing, I was like, yo. yo shut chill. up, nigga. Shut up. Yo, chill. Stop. Okay? Stop. When the guy was about to uh, fucking assassinate Lincoln and he was mad tight, I said that they're like, yo. Yeah. Yo. He was like. Pfft. I remember you texting me. Pussy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to clap this nigga. And I was like, yo, my man, my man, my man. Yo. Chill. 
Stop the violence. All right. I was like, yo, you gonna, yo, you got, you gonna shoot the president and his dome in my nigga. Like, Think about real? what's gonna happen after Come that. Come on, my nigga. Yo, hit this blunt. Like, what's gonna happen? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's but then the play sucked, court. and that's why he got tight. <laughs> he was like, yo, this shit is whack. He was like, this ain't rent. <laughs> yo, this shit is bun. Yo, shit is trash. Nobody got bread. Yo, this ain't, this ain't slave play. It's not problematic enough. Yo, fam. We gotta, yo, Ty, yo, Tyler Perry. We want to do a play at the Beacon Theater. What what play do we want to do? I don't know, but it's just like the same Tyler Perry play. You know, dark skin for the light skin hero. Okay, whatever. that seems to be in your favor. I mean, but it's not. It's not. Because dark skin hero ends up with all the, like the, all the baggage, while like the like the the dark skin villain we could, gets right. away scot free. Like you get the cheeks, you know no, what I'm saying? That's not how Tyler Perry movies work at all. You get the cheeks. No, I don't get the cheeks. Like something happens bad to me in the beginning, and then like I disappear, and then the lady ends up with light skin you, but not not Dominicans. Like there's no Dominicans in Tyler Perry. Well, are there? I don't know. I've seen. Yeah. Are there? There is, there's mass secret Dominicans. Oh, secret the, Dominicans. Yeah. Well, not even secret Dominicans. Well, secret Dominicans, except uh, the secret Dominicans are like reptilians. They're everywhere. <laughs> like, you have to look closely. <laughs> so, Dominican Laz Alonso? Mm-hmm. Yo, he's, yo, he's in every black movie. He's like the guy in every black movie. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, you, oh, you, oh, shit. Okay, I don't okay. know. Oh, Dominic- you use Delamere personnel? Dominicans are everywhere. They're everywhere. Everywhere. My man jumped over the broom. See? What's the name of that movie? I think it was called Jump the Jump in the Broom. I, I, it was about a. I gotta a, take it. I gotta take your word for it. Never heard that movie. Listen, but uh, yeah, Dominicans are everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. We need to do a movie like that, and like it's like uh, I Am Legend, but it's just Dominicans. Yeah. Everywhere. It's like at night, Will Smith gotta like lock himself in the fucking thing, yeah. and then you just hear like mad uh, ver- shit, like, and like, shit. Like, like man, who can smoke pieces of the tongue with the gun? With like, the gun, yo, like yo, yo, shit. Yo. <sighs> And he has to come out and hunt for food in the daytime while all the Dominicans are tired from partying the night before. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is we're working on it. We're working on this. Niggas just opening every camera door, like trying to find like half a sandwich and shit. Like, yo, oh, oh, maybe the Julio left his lunch from last oh, week. Oh, man. He left his mofongo. <laughs> you think we'll spend surviving on mofongo forever? Instead of I Am Legend, it's called I. Yo soy papi. Yeah, yo soy pa- yo soy legend. <laughs> yo soy legend. I am legenda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a terrible, terrible movie. Yeah, still gonna, it. still gonna make it. You're still gonna make it. Still gonna make it. Michael Bay holla. Let's go. Let's get some explosions. Bro, yeah, shit explosion. But I don't know how the explosions fit in. I guess like he orders like a plate of rice. No, he's like hunting for food, and then he sees like a plate of rice and beans in the street, and he's like. Oh no! I'm not falling for. Him. He's the super trap. hungry. Yeah, he has, he's like Yo, the dog. His yeah. dog. His dog runs for the plate of rice and beans. He's like, no, and then it just explodes. Oh. And that's he goes on like a killing spree at night. Oh shit! Yep. Damn. He just, he uh he comes into like he waits at night for the Dominicans and then he attacks everyone and he just cuts their eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Then he goes hides back in the department store and shit. Starts talking to the mannequins. Like, yo, they're taking over the neighborhood. He's trying to touch the, no, but he's trying to touch those. He's, he's trying to touch the mannequins, but they're like the mannequins from like Third Avenue in the Bronx. So they're like curvy. They, and got, they got the titties. wild titties. Yeah. yeah. They got the wild yeeks. Yeah. yeah. Then like the actual like human just saying it comes. He's like, yo, yo, you Will Smith. Like, I'm trying to fuck. Why are you trying to fuck these mannequins, nigga? You mad corny. Like, yo, I got good pussy. It was good. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just imagine. Like, <laughs> We're trying to pitch this movie to Jordan Peele. He's just sitting there like, <laughs> "Wow, okay, uh, shit." So yeah, so uh, yeah, like you know, three hundred million dollar budget. We make this shit happen, baby. <laughs> you know what I mean, we're gonna film most of it in uh, Jacksonville. Uh huh. We're gonna build a much set cheaper in Jacksonville that looks like the Bronx. Yep. Yeah. Um, hmm. It probably be cheaper than shooting at the. We could probably buy Jacksonville. <laughs> Can we rent Jacksonville for the month? Listen, I don't know if you want to slander Jacksonville. They have a lot of guns. <laughs> Jacksonville has a lot of guns and no sidewalks, so <laughs> I need you to <laughs> I need you to chill. <laughs> oh. Yo, we still got the ATVs with the Rough Rider Cola video. We'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. Wow, Miro. You need a swamp boat out there. It says swamp boat. Listen, 50 minutes. 50 minutes on Pino. Hey. No Pino. Because people were just like, we were, we were getting a little too much with the Pino. Yeah. It was like to the point where you just have Pino on in the background in your house while you're cleaning. That's wild. That's like that's when you know you got a problem. That's wild. Where you don't even look at the Pino. You're just like, this is there. Every now the, you glance up at it and you're just like, all right, cool. The they wildest fucking- shit to me was like, 
motherfuckers go like in high school. Motherfuckers will cut class, go down in downtown, mm-hmm. and go to all the Pino stores. Yeah, yeah. And like rack Pino, and then come back home, and then watch the Pino. Yeah. I'm like, why are we sitting here watching Pino? I've done that. I watch Pino like as a teenager. We all sat and like, watched Pino. Like, watch Pino like it's a movie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's... like nigga, this ain't Batman. Like this is fucking Pino. Like, can we can we like can we recreate this in real life? You know, but you know, you just you got you just like enjoying With Lisa it. And them? When we send them, <laughs> send them. <laughs> nasty. That yeah. doesn't count as Pino talk. We were talking about watching Pino, not That's actual right. Pino. It was meta. Okay, because we're still the Bible boys. It's That's still right. no nut November. That's right. Hopefully, you listening to this. You have not nutted. You know what I'm saying? Hold you, strong, my actually, brother. Actually, if you're listening to this, you definitely. You definitely. There's not it. one bodega hot. Me- okay, there's going to be someone like, I haven't had sex in five years. But you know what? You were, you're doing no nut life. That's Come different. Come on. That's different. That's different. That's you're different. a nun. Nah. But. No, not November. That doesn't sound like fun. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't sound like Especially fun. Especially with the diversity of the uh, Bodega Hive community. How can you be pansexual and, su- and survive No Nut November? Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's not what that means. You know what I'm saying? That's not even no? close to that, what that means. No? But what is pansexual? Pansexual is just like, yo, I'm down. I'm like, I'm down for whatever. No, that's not what pansexual means. What does it mean? Pansexual means you can use kitchen utensils in my. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you thought he was gonna learn something, nigga. Nope, <laughs> nope. Psych. All right, you learn one thing and you lose five things every time you listen to this podcast. We promise you that. We give you misfacts and misinformation. Ah. Only fact you got was something about Jews wash parsley in salt water yes. to remind them of the of struggle. Uh, of the escape from Egypt Time in the 1980s With Miro's yes. grandmother bought a couch But it was off sale Yes yes, And it had plastic And Moses led her through the desert Yes I remember that you know It was saying? in uh, Trenton Yes Yeah I'm saying Are we there yet? Yeah, I was like what? See, Moses was like Ah come on Ruth Calm down Alright that was probably that. That, was, <laughs> that was That was <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm not worried about that, but you're gonna have to explain some shit in synagogue. <laughs> Yo. Oh, you think that's how we sound, Nero? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, listen, I'm just going by uncles. <laughs> I'm just going by uncles. That's what they all sound like. Oh I'll man, I'll be there. <laughs> I'll record him if you want. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That'd be hype as fuck. They'd be like, yeah, record me. <laughs> be amazing. I'll be on the show. Do I, can I be on a show? No. Shout out to the show. No more show late. Now you know what it is. Nothing but the illustrious guest, DJ Mary. Ah, yeah. Only available on Showtime. That's right. Showtime. You know Actually, probably available other places, but you should probably watch it on Showtime. Watch it on Showtime. Do the right thing, B. Do the right thing. Help two struggling for just ten dollars a month. You can help two poor, starving children from the Bronx. That's right. Realize their dream yeah. of being successful in the entertainment industry. Actually, no. Just pay it so we don't go broke and have to go back to robbing people. Word. Listen, I still got some black Air Force Ones, my nigga. Because you could be, it could be you. you know Would you say? Wouldn't it be better to be like, oh my god, Deez Mero on the street? I love your show. Or is it, oh, oh shit, Deez oh, Mero. Oh, oh, yo, fuck. oh I, fuck. I know what time it is. Oh shit, y'all niggas not playing. Oh shit, my fault. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? You're give it, give it up. Yeah, yeah. Give it up. Why well, you got a bottle? Why you got a bottle? Why you got a bottle? Nigga, remember my four kids? I got a cat in the door. We got bills to pay. I'm gonna reach. I'm gonna. Can I reach slow? Am I? Keep that hand up. I'm gonna reach. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Keep reach. Ah, yo, Charles, I was gonna give you. I told you. I was gonna give it to you. You take too long. Damn. Here, nigga. Give me your phone. Open your cash app. Open your cash app. Okay. Use the face ID. Use the face ID. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Put my name in. Okay. Dollar sign Jesus nice. Okay. And put for in the memo. Put for dog services. Okay. All right. Dog grooming uh, or like oh, just reg- just service. Dog walking. I don't want to make it hot. Okay. Walk. Put a dog emoji at the end of that shit. All right. And a heart. All right. No, we'll get the heart out of there. All right. All right. All right. All right. My fault. My fault. You got it. You Thanks. got it. You got it. Yeah, you nigga, you better not be using Venmo. Uh, no, 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 no. Cash up. Cash up gang only. Ca- yo, 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 yo. You, you, you know the vibes. Oh shit. Zwoopty. Yo. Cash up gang. We out oh, here. Shit. Look at- you used to play basketball, right? Yeah. Yeah, you used to have a nice jumper. I remember we yeah. played once in the park. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Can I, can I get my, my um, wallet back now? Nah, Are let me see your cool? right leg. Oh, yeah, shit. walk that shit off, Damn. nigga. <laughs> nigga, fuck you, nigga. Yo, I was an AU coach, man. I was coming up. Yeah, not anymore, nigga. Uh, you thought. Oh, uh, shit. But Dick Boy's out. <laughs> <laughs> we run to the car, Victor's driving. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you no, know, no, we're not in the street robbing people. So what ran? What rando was it that was like? You get Bruno Mars a lot, don't you? I believe that rando was literally called Romeo Santos. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs>
Yeah. What a flex. <laughs> Damn, son. What a flex. Man, he told me I should get cornrows. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> now just, you gotta do it <laughs> Just casually hanging With Romeo Santos <laughs> Yeah it's su favorito Mami wow. He tells you Get your coros You better get your coros And his Chelsea boots And, and he's met Bruno Before it was like Haha yeah I kinda see it But I was like damn You probably like Have been in a room with him And like chopped it up So <laughs> That's me now That's you in the corner Y'all don't see Denzel though You know what I'm saying 24 no. carat <laughs> magic <laughs> That's you in the corner yeah. That's you mm -hmm. in the sunlight Losing mm -hmm. my I remember as a kid, I sung that, and my mother was like, no, no, you are not losing your religion. Okay, stop saying that. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, that's not what the song's about. I'm like, all right, fine, mom. I'll just play Shiny Happy People. That was also like, I had, there was like a couple of years when my mother was going stupid, stupid, stupid hard on um, being religious. She banned us from watching The Simpsons, In Living Color, Keyman Shira, uh, Will, Fresh Prince, Alf, uh, Tales from the Crypt. Couldn't watch Friday. Could not watch oh, Die yeah. Hard. Couldn't watch Halloween because they were all uh, Babylon Kings. Yeah, no, my mom. I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "What am I supposed?" So the only thing. So she was like, "There was one movie we were allowed to watch." Well, because she was going to work or something. Right. She let us watch RoboCop. What? She thought RoboCop was a good movie. She thought it was safe for kids to watch. Do you guys remember how bad RoboCop was? Bro, did he, didn't he, like, dispense meatballs from his leg? Nigga, there's, like, yeah. rape scenes in uh, rape, RoboCop. There's the I buy that for a dollar. There's titties. There's people getting shot in the dick. <laughs> that movie traumatized my sister. Yo. For, like, four years, my sister could not sleep alone. Yeah. I was like, no, this shit's fired up, bro. Yeah, I, I, I was remember, like, yo, they show, yo, they showing chokes, bro. I remember watching this shit when the nigga took his helmet off and he got the wild Mike Tarico hairline. Yeah. I was just like, yo. <laughs> I was like, this thing ain't got no hairline. I was like, ha, ha, ha. Could it be me? Because they remember the cops went on strike and all, it was like Detroit yeah. and then they had like the CP, whatever, the big. Yep. She was good. She was good. She was cool. Shout out to that movie. You know what I'm saying? Also, shout out to actual RoboCop, who, uh, if you were in the Bronx, he was an undercover cop yep. that got shot mad times but survived. And he used Dude, to fuck. ride around with the door open and chase people. Yeah. And it was like, yo, relax. I dare you. Come. Come get me. Listen, I don't want to offend any cops out there. Detectives in the 90s and 2000s, they were a different breed. They were going a little harder than you guys. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, Increase the crime rate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to increase the police brutality. But let me tell you something. Oh, man. Listen, at the 4-7, you get tuned up with a bag of oranges. Fam. They don't do that anymore. Thank you. Shout out to fucking uh, Serpico in the 4-5. You know who you are. Because you you were... Nigga, you thought you was in a movie. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga will run you down for a nickel bag, nigga, through the projects. Like, yo. Like, my man. It's not that serious. I remember the one time the cops were chasing us through Edenwall. And we was hopping those gates. Those project gates, they don't seem... They're, they're easy to hop when someone's chasing you. If oh, you just yeah. try to hop one in real life, no, no you can't no, do no, it. No, no. But as soon as someone's on that if ass... you got a running start... Ooh, ooh, boy, I'm thinking you say like, 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 You know the exact amount of steps you got to take yeah. to, to hurdle this shit? Mm -hmm. Like, yo, they're like, one, two, three. And then we were doing the shit two, where... Because you know how the projects have the double staircases. So you go up one staircase to the roof, cross over the roof, come down the other one. So the cops are like trying to chase you. So they keep looking out on each floor. It's like Benny Hill and shit. Like, fuck you cops. Like, low-key now I understand why cops would beat the shit out of me. If I was a oh yeah, yeah. I was kind of being an asshole. I, like, yo, making them run and shit. Like, nah. Yo, that's yeah. the, that's that's when you know you getting your ass beat. Because I'm like, yo, if I'm like, yo, you got to make that split. It's like a baseball player. Yeah. Like you know how they say, like when the ball leaves the glove, you mm -hmm. got like a, a bang bang play. Yeah, you got like a tenth of a second to make a decision yep. to swing the bat or not. You got a tenth of a second of decision. I'm like, yo, am I gonna run or am I gonna take this L and, yeah. ho and hopefully get a summons? That second though, because it's like when you're driving and you see the cop car behind, he's like, whoa, whoa, and you, that you're like. Hmm. Maybe it's not for me. No, you know it's for you. <laughs> when you know it's for you, because you, you know, at but first you're like, yourself. you think it's not for you, and you kind of pull over, and then they follow you, and you're like, oh, GTA mode. Because <laughs> you think about it, you're like, yo, how many times in GTA have I lost the cops? Like, I could do this. I could do this. But then reality sits in. Then you like, forget you're on the cross bronx, nigga. <laughs> and you hit exit 4B, and you're like, skrrr. You should be able to be like, just take the cops on like a five minute police chase. And the poster side was like, I had to do it one time. <laughs> Yo, had to do on. it for the culture. Come on, one Come time, on, bro. just once. Come on, bro. Just once. I just want to feel the rush. Had to do it, bro. <laughs> had to do it, man. Yeah. Also, in order to take the cops on a high speed chase, you have to have a fast enough car and enough gas. Yeah. What if you run out of gas? True. And also, in New York, you'd have to just keep driving upstate and worse. You're going to end up in like White Plains. Yeah. Now you're going to go to Applebee's. Oh, God. Hmm? 
With an apple and the bee. Apple bees, get oh, your buzz on. Happy hour from three to four. Oh my god, guac and <laughs> chips. <laughs> Half price apps. <laughs> Today's plot: Apple and B go to Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to season twenty. <laughs> That's our central perk. <laughs> oh, Applebee's. Just complain about life. Mm. Yeah, we're going to Applebee's. We're not going to Gooch. <laughs> Yeah, it's been episode 178. Yeah, yeah but they're the boys you know in the saying? building. You know what it is. Yo, is. Gooch got a, uh, a Zagat rating of uh, 112. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So visit it. Peter Wells from Venus said yeah. it was a. And a. And Clara Stargardorf. That's right. Yeah. Yo, it's me, boy. Jesus Nice, aka Young Chipotle, Ooh. aka Pocket, Pocket Stay Fat Like Light. Cheerio, yeah. aka Pocket Stay Fat Like Here We Go. Listen, Slobodan might know you, bitch. He young might. day party, young hot take, Jesus H. Fuego. Did I say Jesus? Yeah. Jesus? Put a J in there, right? Yeah, fuck yeah. it. You All know right. What I'm we'll just do it. Fuck you know what I'm it. Saying? Fuck it. We'll do it live. Yeah. We'll All fi- right. You know what? We'll fix it in post. Abstract. You know what? You know what you can't fix in post? A broken relationship. That's right. Wow. Wow. Think about that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yeah! Listen, I was Me and the other thing, I kept going going off the Jufi balls. MC, little Gunga P. Gunga P soup is great, by the way. You guys listening at home, be sure to try it. Try it. It's a little thick, but it's good for you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's good for you. It's good for your your, your, your digestive tract. Pull up for forty, which is shorty. You don't talk to me. No, I don't know you. I fucking know you. The original plus one got a plus one. Mm. All right. Actually, my plus one got ten plus ten. That's right. And make things even worse. My plus one is my plus one. I ain't even there. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you who my plus one is. Just take this. Give me a cell phone number, and I'm going to give it to mad random people and tell them to call you when they pull up. Exactly. Exactly. Now, if I don't even need a plus one, Sherry's walking me past the line. (laughs) (laughs) We're doing the red carpet. It's me and Miro. They're like... (laughs) Jesus and Mario. Jesus, Jesus and Mario, please take care of my place. Over here, 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 which is also weird because when we do red carpet, like oh, everyone, like, like GQ, Time Magazine, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, yo, Bronx 12 News. We'd be like, yo, yo what, what the up? fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. Yo, news you control. What's yo, up? Yeah, it's time to the game. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Yo, just cut into we, your mind and body. We literally spent like 30 seconds with every other venue, <laughs> and we spent like half an hour with News 12. <laughs> We'd be so happy to see. We're like, Jessica cut it down. Oh, yo, my God. Oh, my God. Gina Jalosi. Yo. It's bad funny because she was on Instagram the other day. She was like, so. Uh, my assignment um, uh, got canceled. I'm on 168th in Sheridan. Mm-hmm. So if anybody's around the area, just having a coffee. And I was just like, yo, I was like, yo, I was, I was just like, yo, hold your head, my G. Like, yo, go grab a cup of coffee, hang out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. She was just like, yo, the brain is strong, huh? Shout like, to the homies out there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? The story was absolutely anecdotal and pointless. It but, went, you know what it, it was, you know what, Meryl? You know what it went nowhere, shows, but. It shows the you, connection uh, that we have built over you, the years. You, uh, your the story went nowhere, but. You tried. You know what I'm saying? And that's important. Yeah. You tried. Like, you can't get, I can't get mad at you for that. You know what I'm saying? You know. Shout out to Jessica. Strong Bodega I've member since day one. I'm saying strong believer in the brand. Believer in the brand. Because the brand is strong. You got to sing it like it's so hard to say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> we got to record that so people, Bodega Hive members, could play that at their funeral. Yes. And I'll take and with I'll me take all those porno memories to fill my pocket full of Molly. It's the brand so fucking strong. The brand is drawing. Sorry for your loss. You know what I'm saying? We'll come perform at your funeral. Oh, condolences. 
Yo, we uh, have niggas cracking Ooh. up. Yeah. <laughs> niggas dying. Niggas dying. I'm like, yo. <laughs> yo. Vinny <Yo>. Dice DJ. <laughs> hey. As you go into the afterlife, I yeah. just want to tell you. Kick it easy. Yeah, your grandma was old. That means she kept an OS for life. <laughs> <laughs> hey. These are the Jamaican Jew. Hey, put some parsley in some salt water. You got yourself a nice drink. Uh, hey. Jamaican avocado toast. Young pa, that goes to Mufasa. Yeah. Zipper. 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 What? Father, talk to me. Them niggas kill me in a stampede. You can ride for me, motherfucker. Hell yeah, nigga. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out like a gay nigga. Niggas trampling me, my nigga. Stop playing. Niggas trampling the OG. Yo, fuck that yo, shit, nigga. Yo, that, yo, Scar. Yo, Scar, come over here. Yo, sight, Scar. Sight. Scar, open your mouth. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and the Disney exec is like, see? See? That's why we didn't pick them. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine Avocado. <laughs> oh, we did that already. Yo, talk coonery without the coonery. There's no coonery here. Yeah. 100% coonery free. Well, we use a so- special filter to take out the coonery. <laughs> <laughs> A.K. Chili Limon, left-handed reliever for Yankees. Okay, look, hey, Bobby. hey, Bobby, it's the off-season, so I can use uh, drugs. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, and let's know. go to Dominican and get in some chappy. You want to okay. do that? Yeah. I heard they make heroin pancakes at Gooch. Yeah. Let's go, go, yeah. Let's go Gooch and get some fentanyl. Hey, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Vitoria's over there waiting for us. Hey. <laughs> get well soon, Victoria. Two-phone Jones. Jesus, like Machna, J. Chuck, Stanley Cups. Ooh. The human doctor, Bob. Honors labeled Dalut, Dalut. 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 Do you know the trap? I'm missing 240p because I like my pino blurry. Yeah. DJ Wula, aka listen to Wash FM. Yeah. Up next, you know who we have. Who is People this? forgot about this. Uh, oh group. my god. They had they had a joint. Now, uh, they're part of what was known as, I believe it was called the East Coast Family. Oh shit. Who was it? it was uh, Now, who made up the East Coast Family? Do you remember? East Coast Family. I just remember that fucking. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It was in Cooley High Harmony. Cooley High. Don't you think? Boys to men. A, B, C, B, B, D. Let's go family. So oh, remember? Shit. Y'all remember? Oh, shit. Y'all remember Aisha? Uh, uh. Oh. Yo, new Jack Swing, huh? Yeah, this little niggas was jumping around. This, yeah. it. this, this is choreography. This is this. Ooh, that's where I saw that cutie. Uh, uh. Listen, this is a joint. This is a bop. Listen. I don't want to use too much because we're going to get sued. Yes. But. I want to get to know you better. Aisha. You so bad. You know what? That song is okay because it's like, it's preschool. It's like young kids singing about love. other young kids. Yeah. But as a grown man, you probably shouldn't be singing. You probably shouldn't. Probably. Be, yeah, yeah. Somewhere R. Kelly is like, come on. Co- go- Yo, come on. Come on. For, for real? They doing it too. For real? I fight for my fucking life. Hey, come on, man. Also, he lost his toenail in jail. What? Like, low key, I'm like, good. But at the same time, I'm like, um, our jails are that bad. People uh, are losing toenails. How do you lose your Like, toenail? if R. Kelly loses a toenail in jail, then jail must be fucked up for regular people. Uh, you know, you're just a jerk. If you lose your fucking toenail in jail, my D, come on. But what if he, like, banged into it? He banged it against something and it fell off. Like, it, oh, his bunk fell on you the think, shit? You think a gang member ripped it off? Well, no, they, they would tell us if it was that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah. like the, now I'm just getting on some odd shit. Yeah. Like, a like, gang member rips off R. Kelly's toenail. You want to join this fucking gang? You want to bring your bodega boy? Huh? Bring back R. Kelly's his fucking toenail. toenail right now. Bring that shit back. The shit that's painted. A nigga wearing it on dental floss around his neck. <laughs> yo, like, yo, say something. I run nigga. this fucking cell block. Yo. Okay? He's, at the, he's in the fucking mess hall with the nigga. Like, yo, what up? What Walks up? Walks right past him with his tray with the little shit dangling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got your toenail, nigga. Got What's up? Got your toenail. You want it back? Come get it. Damn. Pussy. That's, that's dark. Damn, that's another thing. Because, like, okay, getting raped in prison is bad, but mm-hmm. niggas taking toenails? Damn. Don't go to jail. Think about it. Don't go to jail. Stay out of jail. Well, that's what we're going to tell when we start doing those uh, inspirational speeches at schools for kids. It's on, yeah, I'm like, what? yo, you little niggas like your toenails? Huh? You go to jail, you're going to lose your toenails. You lose your motherfucking toenails, nigga. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We got to do scare straight and just like scare. Yo, give me your fucking toenail. Just <laughs> <laughs> grab a nigga's big toe man heart. Like, yo, come here. Come here. Come here. Give me yo, your toenail. Yo, give me the pliers. Take, take give me the pliers. pliers. Give me the pliers. Take your shoes give me the pliers. Oh, oh shit. Give me oh, the pliers. Oh, someone got a cute baby toe. Hmm? Oh, hmm? what? What well, if I make that my baby toe? Yeah, huh? Put that baby toe in my mouth. Yeah. So what's up on that baby, baby toe? I'm mad. We another another week without it as a sound. We're bringing it back next week. Fuck that. <laughs> Cause we took it away because Cuba's wild, but Cuba's always wild. It's, it's, it's Cuba. Like Cuba wild is just normal Cuba. Cuba wildness is baseline. 
Yeah. <laughs> like when he, he occasionally spikes, but wilding is his baseline. Like, you know you what the know. weird thing is? We as a society have accepted that he's, he's a wild boy. He's a wild There's boy. There's very few people that people are just like, yo, you wild. You're a wild can, boy. What can we do with you? Look, yo, fam. You're a wild boy. You're a wild boy. Yo, they let Willie Nelson smoke weed like during Reefer Madness and all that shit. Yeah. They're like, yo, this little white nigga. But yeah, there's a, a difference between boy. Willie Nelson <laughs> smoking weed and not bothering people. A Cuba Goody Jr. running around with chicken buckets on his head grabbing titties. Okay, that's <laughs> the levels. There's a, there's a difference there's there. A difference. There's a, there's a, there's a one, is, difference. one is cute, the other is a crime. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm not Judge Judy, but even I'd be like, yo, <laughs> lock that nigga up. <laughs> yo, man. If you were in a club yo. with a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken on your head. Fam. No. 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 Maybe on Halloween. If you're dressed in the same, but uh, where'd, you, where'd you get the bucket? Where'd you get the Kentucky Fried Chicken where from? Did you, where, first of all, where did, you, where did you get the bucket of chicken? Where those That's chicken, number one. Where did all the chicken go? Number two, where did all the chicken go? Okay. Number three. How are they letting you rock with an empty bucket of chicken in your in the fucking club? Listen, I worked Secu- in the club. I would not allow that. Security will come to you like, so yo, my man, like, my man. man. Yo. You can't even wear hats to the club. How are you wearing a bucket of chicken? That's levels. Come on. No, levels no hats, no durags, no 20-piece buckets? That's, they got to add that to the side now? Yo, big man, big man, big man, big man. Big man, Gotta take off that dinner box. I'm yo, sorry. Come on, yo, I'm sorry, fuck, man. Yo, 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 what you yo, doing, bro? Yo, come on, yo, man. Yo, come on, man. Yo, listen. Yo, yo, yo. Wait, yo, one, two. Yo. You got a little gravy up here, right? Yo, here. yo, yo. You, you, where you going? You coming in here? Your man wearing chicken tenders. Yo, nah, he wilding. Come on, he's bro. Wilding. Nah, he's wilding. Nah. nah. Yo, no. Yo, 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 yo. My man, my man. Look at your shoes. What's wrong with my shoes, bro? They, they, they not. Shoes, they season fries. These, these are class. These are, these are. Come on, bro. These coats. Nah, these are season fries. Wow, wow. You make shoes out of season fries, bro. Wow. You can't come in here. This is dress code. Damn. Come man. on, man. We never get into the club. On, crown fried chicken. Damn. They can come in with the fucking Mardi Gras cheesecake on his head from Popeyes. Like, <laughs> I that's thought our, this was the Met Gala. That's our new show, Club Crown Fried Chicken. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like they're advertising crown fried chicken. That should be the Met Gala fucking. Uh, yeah, everybody, if you want mashed potato, put your hands in the put air. Put your motherfucking hands in the air, yo. Yo, yo we about to throw some bee paws, nigga. Yo, 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 who wants the number seven? Yo, yo, yo. Onion, onion, onion oh, fries. Nah. Right in on it, on it, try. If your chicken goes off the track, pick, pick it, it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yo, 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 you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have a twerking contest in about five minutes. You know what I'm saying? The winner's gonna win an Italian burger, Woo! which is just a hamburger on a hero, yo, Woo! with french fries, because you is hot as fuck. The news is gonna be like, um, everyone that's watching Jesus and Mero's new channel has gained 25 pounds. <laughs> In other words, in other the network has renewed season ten of My Son's a Taco. I'm like, oh. I'm like why is this show still These on? things can't lose. Oh, I'm like, Vic, I don't want to do another fucking season of My Son's a Taco. But we got Taco to play the Taco. Damn, she's crazy. She's just making. You know how hard it was to come to deal with the our future. She's just, she's just making twenty five mil in, 20, in syndication. Yeah. People just hate it. It's on TBS. She comes on during a Yankee rain delay. Yo. Just hate that shit. You negotiated with Tyler. He's just calling you mass slurs and shit yeah. the whole time. Like yo, you're like yo, fam, like. Breaking news, Miro, <laughs> Jesus, and Taco want at least a million an episode. <laughs> America's in love with tacos. We just want what we're worth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> UPN makes a knockoff cup. My son's an empanada. I'm like, wow. 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 Oh, empanada, huh? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Young Sheldon ass. Wow. <laughs> Can't have shit. <laughs> Yo, this is Pastor Jamal. Hats from the box. Son of the Indian, Ray, nephews of the Marino, can't contain all the human memory. Where the job, young Aaron, the race, provocateur, heaven, quick, close, no, see, Mandela, so you can't see me, man, the moon, move in the human world, and nothing in your mouth, with the deck, with the deck. Ricky Lee Swabby, Greg Popovich, more to say, she says, no, Mahamagami, not Megabee, but I got that cucumber. Ooh. Ooh. This is the press, what's your boy? I am the art damage, the Donata Gnus, no more cup of news, the person's freckum, the fashion over cast, no, we ain't sitting tight, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, don't get the muscle loot is the dip set. This is like right. a square one top left. Man's is March. Over the holy cow. Mr. Stop puzzle. All I do is count checks and jerk off. What we got is OJ purple stuff. So does me, Sunday D. Woo. David Yerman. These expensive. These are red bottoms. These are bloody shoes. Oh you know what? Andrew Kunin and AK the Junior. And you got Junior. Come sit down. I'm trying to call me Pickle. Got your bitch over here. Top of the gossip. I shout out to 11791. Ah, 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 ah. Catch me in the quiet car talking wild loud. Do something yeah, about pussy. Yeah, AK dang. Grandpa Joe. Because when you see Charlie, you see me. Don't touch that golden ticket. My golden ticket. I'm a fucking cat. Your man, dead ideas is more than share. Don't mind if I shoplift a target. Because that's what I like to do. Mr. Shop that's easy with. 
bad bitches like I'm easy, please believe me. God and damn. if you have a two bedroom, two bathroom somewhere in Brooklyn, please contact Victor because he's looking. The black Asian attic will crack your back like an automatic craftmatic. The Mr. Lamarine, the Mr. Marina, the Mr. Marina, the Mr. She bats killer. No one can be the, the black Greg Morris day. of Port Morris. Young KPI for all my marketing people. Listen. Take second best, put me to your chest, things on your chest you need to confess. Yo. Reach out and touch faith. It is I, your own personal Jesus. Ooh. AKA your problematic bay. It's not a secret family if you murder them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret family. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right, you fucking boy. Coming bags. up next, we got live. That's right, you trans from bags. Square. You it is fucking jerk. We are opening the first hookah bar yeah. in China. Belligerent. It's your boy, the Kid Marrow, aka the Human Durag Flap, aka I sleep half an hour a night, aka Donovan McDab, aka Curve Gotti, aka Triz Khalifa. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Skirt loader, jump the curb, hit your fucking labradoodle, and keep it moving. Ask me if I give a fuck. Jesus Christ, Meryl, every week. I don't every care. week you kill my dog. Peter, come get me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> AKA, I'm a fucking baby. I fucking man, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? AKA, no need to check the guest list, motherfucker. I am the guest list, you asshole. You know what I'm saying? I played the seaweed in the live Little Mermaid remake. Oh, wow. I saw you were so good at that. Yeah. yeah so I was just like, yo. Oh, my God. You personified did seaweed. Did you see how I did this? Do you know what? The only other time I've ever seen seaweed played was Sidney Poitier, and you did better. Right. You, you feel better. me? I was Because oh. I was going like this and like this. Can I ask you, was it your experience growing up near City Island that taught you how Absolutely. to be a seaweed? Absolutely. Amazing. I knew how to flow over dead bodies, all that. You wow. know what I'm saying? Just, just wow. Check the IMDb credits. Stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yo, don't fucking touch me, yo, you fucking clown-ass bouncer. Yo, they shoot this nigga, man. <laughs> Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, case, sir, did you just shoot someone at Little yes, Mermaid Live? Yes, I did. Live? Yes, I did. <laughs> now that motherfucker's under the sea. You know what I'm saying? Fuck boo, out of here. Boo, <laughs> boo. <laughs> CC dad bath here. You know what I'm saying? Catch me in the fucking basement with my puff go beak. Nigga doing mad concentrated hits of THC. You know what I'm saying? Until my brain is fuck doing only basic functions. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you put your computer in that black and white mode. And shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> AKA James said, Fat, that's right. Ghost safe mode, nigga. Yeah, safe, safe mode. mode. Ah, no hey, change. That's where the yo. computer comes to, like, hey, my guy. Yo. I didn't boot properly. Yo. You know what? I'm going to go to safe mode. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. You Things know what I'm saying? Right. All right. <laughs> Just got, you was doing a lot. Take it easy. Take it easy, pal. All right. You're running window. Hey, hey, hey. I only got so much RAM here, pal. You're watching a lot of Pino. And watching you, you hey, <laughs> you're using Microsoft OS. <laughs> Take it easy. He's got to click about this computer. This is a picture of Big Time Tommy smoking a cigarette. He's like, hey, he's smoking a cigar. He's like, hey, hey. you got 50 gigs left. <laughs> I'm like, what the? F I just bought this com I'll take it to the Apple well, store. Well, that's, like, well, that's what happens. I just bought this computer. It says I have 60 gigs of freestyle. Who told you to eat an apple? What the f this is, You should have um, went to the Zeppelin store. I go on iTunes. It's this mad DJ Vinny Dice playlist. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't order. You know, it's, it's good, though. It is preloaded. It'll go out. It's good. <laughs> it's so good we offering, we're offering a special DJ Vinny Dice Big time Tommy branded. We have to, we're going to put, we're going to hack it to Apple and put DJ Vinny Dice on every Apple I product never. the way they did it with YouTube. Yeah. Yo, son. Yo. Man, people are like, who the fuck is DJ Vinny Dice? What the fuck? I'm like, I can't. Listen, you got to rock with him. Speaking of freestyle, like, yo, Stevie B went on the wild rant on like, Instagram. That. Like, he's like, he's like, the music that's coming out right now that people are classifying as freestyle is garbage. <laughs> It's garbage movie. It's terrible. There's no melody. There's no lyrics. There's no soul to the to the music, man. You know what I'm saying? So this this is why at Prudential Center, you know what I'm saying? We're doing freestyle explosion at Prudential Center, in New Jersey. It's gonna be me, Stevie B, the king of the king of freestyle. Our, you know what I'm saying? TKA. You know what I'm saying? K7 and the other niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Sheesh. AKA Jason Fat think I'll ghost on you, Shorty. You know what I'm saying? It's a, the, the series finale. You know what I'm saying? You'll never hear from me again. AKA Tiger Backwards, I'll smoke a quarter and then hit you with this nine iron. You know what I'm saying? AKA Get into the money and this smoke is your boy Goldman Schmack. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm part of the 1%. Nigga, fuck that, A.K. Okay? I got all my kids playing Winter League Baseball in Dominican Republic with their uncle Bartolo Colón. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the motherfucking d d dad of the year and I want a good return on my motherfucking investment. Stupid. You know what I'm saying? A.K. Bitch smack me, Yumbo. A.K. Dick in your bed, Motombo. Dick. You know what <laughs> 
I do ad libs. <laughs> What you know about that? You know what I'm saying? Gooch. <laughs> Placenta. Yo. Okay, Hyman. In the top, you know, comments this pussy no more. This pussy belongs to me. Actually, it does not. It belongs to her. Uh, so I require emphatic consent between both parties be, be, before we engage in coitus. Thank you. Don't forget, emphatic consent. Our new rock group, we're performing you know at Bronx Pierce Hall. That's right, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? New Christian rock band. You know what I'm saying? Emphatic consent. You know what I'm saying? Our new single, Celibacy, is out now. You know what I'm saying? You know it's, what called, saying? it's called Wait for Marriage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's called Promise Ring. AK <laughs> <laughs> hey, David Trisdale, nigga. Pow, pow. Take that for data, stupid. You know what I'm saying? We on a mo- Listen, I'm just watching R.J. Barrett at this point. I'm watching the New York R.J. Barretts. Thank you. <laughs> That's the only reason to watch. <laughs> I be doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Barlow's antenna is so smooth. I fall asleep at the wheel and crash a zip car. Say what? What? And then I get out and run, nigga, because it's a Prius and I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Charge me for that shit. That's pocket money. Pocket money. It's actually not, but, you know. I had to flex because it's, you know, the podcast. The Dominican the Donna Degman Daddy, you know what I'm saying? A.K.A. Swipe my card again. There's definitely money on it. Don't tr- don't make me embarrass you when your fucking manager comes out here and asks me for a selfie and asks me how the hell the kids are doing. Okay, Edward? You like your little stop and shop job, Edwin, huh? Then put the fucking ruffles in the bag and keep it moving, bro. And accept this coupon. I don't care if it's a week expired, nigga. Wow. Aren't you rich? Shouldn't you, like, even... Why, why are you, you using, using coupon? Shut cons- up, nigga. Ring me shit up. Use the override code. I know you know the override code. Wow. Y'all all know the override code. That's how you finesse fucking stakes for your uh, for your own motherfucking self, stupid. Fuck out of here. AKA. <laughs> tu favorito, mami. Hey. Romeo Santos. So Danny. Let me black out. Yo, papi. You might be pronto. You know what I'm saying? With your titi. You know what I'm saying? Get nasty. Because you know me. I'm so nasty. Wow. Catch me at Union fucking, at motherfucking uh, shit, nigga. Catch me at Bodega Pizza, nigga. Smoke a hookah on the curb, nigga. I'm popping like that. I do what I want, nigga. I got Chelsea boots. I'll kick you in your nuts. Now I do what I want. AK. Light Nell Dutchie. Hello. Is it weed you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. That you're broke ass ain't got five. You know what I'm saying? How you don't got five, bro? How you don't got five. Actually, no, bro? I understand with like the way the economy, the economy is. is now, yeah, shit, it's shit. pretty bad. Yeah, it's people, pretty bad. You know, it's people, bad. people, people. It's pretty bad. But hey, look, at least you came through with some angel dust to put in this blunt. So I appreciate the effort. You know what I'm saying? AK Tom Brady, your girl got my balls deflated. You know what I'm saying? We the table shower boys. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hit that problematic line. AK, <laughs> hey, feel the ass Tyson. I want to explore your cosmos, Bob. But again, with emphatic consent. That's right. You emphatic know consent. You know what it is. Name of our rock group. You know what that is? What the fuck is up, Diddy? The fucking fuck? Let's fucking go. Hey, Megan, do you want to fuck? Do you want to fuck with consent? Do you want to fuck, Megan? Megan! Loyalty, brotherhood, and consent. Loyalty, brotherhood, and consent. Sorry, new single. Uh, <laughs> Call loyalty, brotherhood, and consent. So, look for it. It is available at every Virgin Record store out there, especially the one on 14th Street. Uh, wait, someone's telling me. Uh, apparently, that closed. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, wait. When did that happen? Oh, whoa, oh, shit. I, oh, shit. They closed the Virgin on 14th Street. What? What? New, New York is changing. Wow. I'm so outraged. I'm going to 8th Street to get a papaya. A.K. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Little snoozy for first thing to tap out on live. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I'm talking to strains that put you to bed, nigga. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of a fucking conversation. A.K.A. Friday I'm the MVP of Gelato. A.K.A. Zaniel Benningfield. I gotta get some sticks. That's right. I gotta get some sticks. You know what I'm saying? A.K.A. Joe Hookah. I dare you to smoke with me. And Mama Sushi, like Mayor Booty. Man, Booty you know Judge. What I'm saying? He's out here. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. AK, hmm. Ben Bossom. Hmm. My hands are gifted. I have manually repaired LeBron's groin so he can perform at an optimal level like the goat that he is. Yes, I'm a LeBron stand. When are you going to fix the projects? Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, you were charging her. What the fuck, nigga? L- listen, I made a bet with Donald. What are you over here? You, I, you I, doing? I, you, you replacing squirrels' brains? L- 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 
yo. I, I made a bet with Donald that the Lakers would, would win the championship, so I have to make sure it goes through. Okay, that's fair. You know he's not good for the money. Also, Ben Carson eats Popeyes. Oh shit! Because remember, right. the that's guy right. that tried yeah, to rob yeah, him was at a Popeyes. Yeah, was at a Popeyes. You, think ben, you think Ben Carson? Oh, you know Ben Carson cook was it candy? Yeah, can't Ben Carson and Candy probably ate that Popeye sandwich yeah. and had some sex, nigga. Ooh. Hey, baby, hey. you know what I did to get this chicken? What did you do, Daddy? I stopped the motherfucking robbery, baby. Uh, oh no, let me see that titty. Oh no, girl, Look, take I'm your put, panties I'm gonna put this chicken on my titty. Ooh, mm. ooh. Oh, oh, doc, is there a doctor in the house? Hey, oh. they, didn't, they didn't have. Spice I need there. someone to operate on my brains. Oh my god. Oh no. Let me let me touch your neurons. Oh. <laughs> 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 they make it love to like Kirk Franklin. <laughs> He's banging her black out to the new Kanye album. <laughs> I know Jesus is Lord, but right now I'm your God. I'm your king, I'm bitch. Your king. Yeah, that's right. Take that. Oh, that's right. I'm taking. I'm gonna take you to so Saturday. Oh yeah. yeah. Take the yeah, all my glasses fell off. Hold on. Call me Jehovah because I'm about to turn you to a cream pie. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. God damn! All right, that you know what we made it. To, we made it. How far did we make it? Hey, we made it in an hour twenty six minutes. Hey, hey, give it up for us. Hey, hooray! We're not sexual deviants. Yes. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like we just got out of jail for like some sort of wild sex crime, and now we're in rehab. It was like, look, one day at a time, guy. Yeah. I got my one week chip, bro. Your one week chip. <laughs> okay. Open your fucking medicine cabinet. You know who the fuck it is, boy. It's the Zen, man. That's my Burger King order when I can pull up to the drive-thru. A.K. Rico Sabrosa, A.K. Baby New for two five niggas got garbage down the way. A.K. Nino, bro, shut the car down. You know what I'm saying? Got, the, got your titty bagging up naked. A.K. Live from Aiden Grocery Incorporated Corp. On Burnside Avenue, it's the East Tremont CVB doing all his greatest hits like I want to be the one your titty is fucking and top sick love. Don't let me leave. Touring this summer sponsored by Narcan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> A.K.A. Listen, mate. Every time we get to this part of the podcast, I have to remind you. Remind you. Remind you, fools. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You uncultured swine. There's only two rock stars left in the world, mate. And it's the Bodega Boys, mate. Of which I am one. Mm -hmm. The plant ain't sleeping over in the sky. One day you will find me smoking weed on Tremont. Watching a football game through the wind. Of a sports bar. One day at a time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they won't let me. They won't let me in, mate. Well, also, you know, you, you kind of wilded out last time. I, I, I did. I did, mate. That's how you got bad. They said gooch. football. They said football. I thought it was proper footy. Yeah. yeah. They play with hel helmets on and, and all types of rubbish. I remember you were wilding. You said you give you give Z fucks yeah. as they drive yeah. you out. Yeah. They threw you out on your fan. Come, come on, mate. <laughs> A.K.A. I met my princess. I'm never going to fail. You never, know what I'm saying? Never. Never. Even when I fall on the air. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> Chilling at the crib off edibles. Watching his stock decline, sadly. And waiting for Katie and Kyrie in the Google Hangout. It's Barmelo's Anthony. For three. Bang. I fell asleep in the drive-thru again. God damn. If you see me a target higher than a minute bowl holding a helium balloon at the top of Mount Everest, approach me like a motherfucking Ursa mammal nigga. Because I may react erratically, especially from when my cubs and they're eating frosting out of a jar. You know what I'm saying? Relax yourself. Relax yourself. AKA, hey kids. <laughs> hey! It's Benzo the Gladio. <laughs> yeah, uh, how do you mean for your kids' birthday party? Go Benzo. Yeah, hey. Go Benzo. Fuck it up. Hey, Go Benzo. hey, no music. No music, hey! No parents. <laughs> yeah. that, no that, that, parents. That's my pal, Mr. Fun Fun. Uh, yeah, no, I, seriously, I, no I, parents. Uh, Get the fuck out yeah, of yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, I got my money in front, so I'm just, just going to hang out in the van. This is a show yeah, only yeah. for kids. <laughs> it's yeah. only for kids. You yeah, sign yeah. the waivers. I'm going to go outside and then shut the door. Mr. Fun Fun's going to answer Mr. Fun Fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ask some Mr. Fun Fun to play a little game called Whose Pants Are These? Hey, you kids. Hey, hey, get out of here. <laughs> We're about to do it, no mas. Okay, that's so fake, Legion, your favorite sidecrab rapper. That motherfucker. 
is high off rust remover. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know if that's a real thing. But I found it in my garage and it's expired. And I mixed it with some cranberry ginger ale that I, that I was in a warped can. You know what I'm saying? That is also expired. Mm. So now the mm. album is about to be fire. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Papi, llegó la hora. Ya tú sabes que es lo que es. Hansan, tíreme la fucking pista. Oye, que es lo que es. Llegó a el hijo de FIFA, coño. Es más lo que todo. Es más tigre que el tipo de los Fortnite Flea. You know what I'm saying? Esta es la verdadera grasa. Bajando con la paca. Tú supita, mamá huevo. Si tú me ves a mí en la calle, coño, salud, me, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Shout out a la casa. Shout out a la casa, como siempre. Shout out. Eh, Victor Hugo, el maquinón que maquina. La nena de la bodega, Diana. This is bueno. Eh, Justin Marqueta, que está aquí en vivo. Hassan Insane, que pone la fucking nota. Y... Clarita Frita Hombre. Ay, ta, 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 ta. Llegamos, papi. Estamos aquí en vivo directo. Y finalmente, a mi presidente Pío, la secretaria de defensa, activo con el cañón. Tú me avisas que lo suelto, papi. Ya. Yeah. 178. Sí, can I get a bacon, egg, and queso? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, shout out to Cash App. Ah, 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 you know the what homies gang, are gang. sponsors. Yo, if you download Cash App right now and use promo code Bodega Boys, one word, one word, guess this, you get ten dollars. That's right. And not only do you get ten dollars, you get to feel good about yourself and benevolent because Cash App will give ten dollars to the Bronx Children's Museum. What? What? Oh, so that shit. Bronx children can learn about art and shit like that. That's right. That's right. Well, Digger Boys give them back. Remember, promo <sighs> code Digger Boys. You know what I'm saying, do something good. It's the easiest thing you can do. That's good. You know what I mean? Listen, you, you do that, you're an ally. It's easier than stealing a I voted sticker. It's all right. Help fight gentrification. I don't know if that helps fight gentrification, but just do it anyway. Also, shout out to Cash App for looking out for the Bronx and uh, paying us. This been your boys, episode 178. That's right. Everyone coming. Now, another yeah. one, another banger. Be sure to Pow. catch us Mondays and Thursdays. Number one show on late night. You know, this is you know Marrow. Be sure to watch this on the uh, Bodega Boys YouTube channel, unless you're watching it already. We know this is Inception. Whoa, Whoa man. And be sure to, you know, hit up bodegahive.com. Uh, there's literally nothing on there for you to hit up there, but just hit it up. So just we get hit traffic up. on just there. Go there, yeah. Okay. And uh, Houston, sorry again for canceling on you. Yeah, get the fuck out my Instagram sorry. comments. What do you want me to do about it? What do you want? We're not going to We're going to re We're going re to regroup and we do it better. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be huge. Okay. We're going to bring out Jose Altuve. Okay. I'm going to give him a piggyback right on stage. Listen, this is the first time a Dominican and a, Jew, a Jamaican man have disappointed anyone. You know what I'm saying? And on that note, we out. Holla.